number seven, The Terminator, released in 1984, and Terminator 2, Judgment Day, released in 1991. To avoid annihilation in a future war, an artificial intelligence sends back a cyborg assassin from 2029 to 1984, known as a Terminator or a T-800, to kill the mother of an unborn future leader of the human resistance. And in the sequel, the resistance sent back to 1995 a reprogrammed T-800 as a protector against an upgraded Terminator, a T-1000, a shape-shifting prototype composed of liquid metal, played by Robert Patrick. Both movies starred Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator, villain in the original and protector in the sequel, and Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor, target for termination in the original and all-round badass in the sequel and aimly supported in the original by Michael Biehn as Kyle Reese, a soldier sent back from the future to protect Sarah Connor from the T-800, and in the sequel, Edward Furloin as Sarah Connor's son, John, who will be the future leader of the human resistance that will destroy the artificial intelligence. Both movies are directed and mostly written by James Cameron. The only movie maker, I might add, to feature twice on my list of movie experiences. A movie maker that knew how to use technology, solid Master characters, Vista, baby. and stories to create his vision. The Terminator was a low budget movie, 6.4 million. Incidentally, I watched this movie on my 18th birthday. So thanks Mr. Cameron for making it a bigger day than it already was. It may have been low budget, but you can see every penny on the screen. The script is tight, the dialogue punchy, You're a terminated fucker. and the T-800 effects have become iconic. The movie made 78.3 million and made Arnold Schwarzenegger a star and ignited Jane Cameron's career. And then with the advent of superior CGI, the first $100 million budget, James Cameron delivered Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and for the second time he melted my mind. Roughly, it's a kind of a reboot, but he had the good sense to update the main characters. Sarah Connor to an unhinged, pumped up killer, i.e. a human Terminator, <laughs> and the T-800 into a protector. Get down. <laughs> who sacrifices himself to save humanity because in his friendship to John Connor he learns to respect human life. A fact that is echoed by Sarah Connor at the end of the movie. Terminator can learn the value of human life. Maybe we can too. Budget wise, these two movies may be millions of dollars apart, but their storytelling, beautifully drawn characters, iconic designs and visuals place them on the same level. James Cameron has made a career of melding these elements. Alongside Aliens, these movies are his best work. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit the like button and notification bell for new content. My comments section is an open forum, so please knock yourself out. I need a vacation.